Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then my name's Christina and I do lifestyle videos every Monday and Thursday. So if you like what you see please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. So in today's video we're going to be talking all about my Instagram stories. So I will be doing a separate video all on Instagram, how I plan and edit my photos on Instagram. But today it's all going to be about the stories. So I thought the easiest way to show you was actually to uh, show you what I do on screen. So my first tip is to kind of plan, and I'll talk more about this in my other video, um, which I'll link down below. Um, but... The first tip is to kind of plan. So with Instagram, it can be so easy going. But if I know that I'm going to, I don't know, walk the dog that day or if I'm going to uh, dinner that night, then I'll kind of say to myself, okay, this is what I want my stories to kind of be about today. Um, so kind of plan what you want to do. That's, that's what I would suggest. But Instagram can be so sporadic and it doesn't have to stick to the plan. If you see something amazing that day, then boomerang that and so on but save the videos and this is what happens so you'll have all your videos in your photo so let's go into here okay so the first thing I do is I go into Visco and I will select a, the photo that I'm going to use so let's just say uh, this photo here and I've already kind of done an edit here and I will talk about this edit on, over on um, my other video but I've got my edit here I've saved this and then I'm just going to save it to my camera roll uh, I save it by actual size so that's all done I then if necessary go into Facetune and kind of um, do up that photo if necessary so let's go here and I kind of just uh, smooth out any blemishes if I need to touch up any details so Let's say the Ole here, oh that's not nice, let's do that, erase it, um, maybe make the Jo Malone a bit, bit more. And you can use this blue tab uh, here to see the before and the after. So that's that, I'm going to save to camera. So you kind of just do your planning and your editing of your photo. Okay, so this is where the fun for Instagram stories start. So the app that I use is really simple. It's called Unfold. So it's just this app here. And as you can see, I have a few kind of tabs open. So I'm going to make a new one, a new project. Uh, let's just call this uh, Test. Okay, and I can go into here. So this is what you get when you open up the app. Now the app is free, um, it's free to use, however certain um, uh, filters you have to pay for but they aren't expensive and you get them for, I don't know, for life. Um, but if you press the plus sign, all CS1 are free. So you can see you've got plenty of really cool um, filters here. So you could just pick a really simple one. One that people use is this one, it, and it's great. So I'll show you this one, and then I'll show you some that you, I actually pay for. So here, you, these little plus signs on here means you can add a photo onto it. So let's go with that. So you can see this, and you can make this bigger if you want, so I can focus on something like the Ole, let's say. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna put the same one behind. Um, so it just looks like it's doubled up. Or alternatively, let's delete that, you can use a background layer. So here I've got a nice white background, like a white paper, a crim crinkled paper. Like there's so many different ways that you can um, make this really unique and to yourself. So let's go with that, I'm gonna just Maybe go with more the white company stuff here, you know, something like this. I then, you can then press this little hexagon shape down here and add text. Let's just write um, favorite products. And then here are all the free ones that you can use. So. The Northwell is one of my favourites. 
so you've got this and then you can edit text you know it's really simple it's how you would use in um word perhaps or any other it's really easy to pick up but you can change the color so i'm going to go with a white here to make it a bit more prominent um, and then, yeah, that's basically it. And then all you've got to do, you can see, you can use this eye here to have a look at the story. And then you can just save. So you can save the page or you can save the entire story. So you can do several pages and then save them and then just, uh, uh, you've got a whole story to put on your Instagram then. So that's that. Now, I want to show you some ones that I have paid for, which are the ones that most people get they love on Instagram. So, add, and these are all the ones you can pay for. SC2, SC, sorry, CS2, CS3, FF1, and RP1. Now, I love FF1 and RP1. These are the ones that I've um, purchased. So, FFR1 are the classic, um, the classic uh, Polaroid style, and RP1 is the much loved ripped paper style. So, again all the same um principles here so here i could just put some crinkled paper i can make the background color anything i want so here's like a nice pinky color add some text say hey guys and then another thing that i pay for night i mean these things are 99p or 199 so really not expensive so impact and simple things are two um fonts that i paid for so i'm gonna go with this maybe just maybe keep it black you can put a background color to it like that like so uh change the way that the font is i'm just gonna go with nothing let's go with that and yeah that's just you know just a really simple thing now I want to show you this one. This applies for all the filters. You can add uh, videos to them. So let's do, oh, I don't really have any videos here. Okay, we have some autumn videos here. Um, so we've got some trees. Got some trees here. I'm gonna do a bit of cliff and then I'm gonna have a picture in another one. So I'm gonna go with that. And sometimes you have to um, adjust them around. So how do you? So I'm going to get rid of these two. I'm going to put this one in the middle. And then I'm going to put the one with Cliff there. Okay, so this is a video. You can see the video. This is also a video here. And then this is just a picture. So I'm just going to adjust this down. And you can see it's that crinkled paper effect. This is what it will look like. You see? And then just do your creativity. So add your text. Uh, autumn, autumn, autumn walks, and I'm going to do maybe Northwell, make that a bit bigger, go for white, maybe keep that in the picture area, there we go, and that's pretty much it, so then that is my Instagram story, really, really easy to um, kind of see. So you can see Cliff, you can see the trees, and it's just really cool. So I'm gonna save that page, and then I'll show you the next step, which is going into Instagram and uploading it and doing other little bits to it. Okay, so the next part is to go into Instagram. So I've got Instagram here, and then, oh, hello. <laughs> and then you've got, you've already got your video there so here's your video upload that and it's really easy you can just send that straight to your instagram stories or obviously do your normal instagram update so i like to add a little bit of extra text here so um if it was a, for a video i'd say link in bio there um some gifts are always i love a gift so uh, let's say autumn and there'll probably be some leaves or something here yeah, perfect. So I'm going to put some leaves there and just kind of stick these down here. You can put a filter on this. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, I normally like Lagos or Abu Dhabi. <laughs> so let's go with something like that. 
and yeah that pretty much is it if you want to add any hashtags that's all on Instagram as well. So you've got your location, uh, your hashtags, you can mention someone, like tag someone. Um, you've got your gifts, your time, your polls, all of that kind of jazz is here in Instagram available for you anyway in Instagram. And you can just, just jazz it up however you want and then send that straight to Instagram. Okay, so that's how I edit my Instagram stories. I will be doing another video all on how I plan and execute and edit my Instagram photos. So if you want to see that video, then definitely do subscribe so you don't miss out on it. And um, it will be up in the next week or two. Um, but yeah, I hope that this video helps some of you out there. It took me a while to figure out how to get these really cool retro Instagram stories. Um, but I thought I'd share what I learned with you guys. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.